Hey guys, Zelonius here. Welcome to another video on the channel. I hope you are having a good team of the year. Hope you're actually able to pack some cards. I'm going to be doing my pack open on Twitch tonight. These chance if you watch this video just has been posted that I will actually be live on my Twitch opening packs. I've got over 200 packs saved. Um, based on uh, the pack weight and what I'm seeing of the prices and what people are saying, I'm not expecting to pack any, which is really sad. I hope I do, obviously, but we'll see. Um, for this video, though, we are looking at icons. We're going to have um, a bunch of different icons in here. There is a couple of Team of the Year icons in this video. Hopefully, we'll pack some of those tonight. Um, we're looking at some of the best value players in the game. We've got a player all the way at the bottom, 40k in Raquelme, all the way to a 3.5 million player at the end of the video. So, different price range different positions i've tried to include a lot of different options for you guys if you like these videos where i'm trying to put out advice about the best players to buy players that i think are really good on the game tactics gameplay tips tutorials all things help you get better at the game and enjoy ultimate team please do subscribe to the channel every day putting out videos to help you guys with eafc so we'll start with raquel May. yes i use him Yes, um, he's really good. People think I'm trolling. I've played over 200 games with him now. Um, he's way over a contribution a game. If you took all the quick rage quits, it'd be over a goal a game. Um, one of the best value cards in the history of FIFA, in my opinion. Five star, five star. The gold finesse is probably the best play style in the game, in my opinion. He's got Travella, incisive pass, first touch. He scores free kicks. He's a brilliant card that is honestly very underrated. He's not rapid. And he's not insane on the ball, but he's usable on the ball. But he's got an insane shot. His passing, whilst not great, it's more than enough, especially with inside pass. He's strong. He's an unreal card and highly recommend him. 40k, icon chemistry, gold finesse, only five star, five star card in the game until Patelas, I think, to um, have five five and gold finesse. Are you sick to death of getting out teamed on FC24? Want that God Squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today, the best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code Zell at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today. John Barnes, 50k, really, really cheap. Don't really understand why he's quite so cheap. He's got very good play styles. Um, he's pretty good on the ball. He's got super physical for a card like this. Not bad pace. Great shot with 195 pace. It's a really good card. Um, like I said, don't really understand why this card's that cheap. Am I saying all the icons in this video are going to be like absolute top tier? No, but it's trying to give you guys different team building options. for I Every icon in this video I think is good enough to play in weekend league. And obviously the top end of the video is some absolute ridiculous cards. Icons are insanely important in my opinion for building chemistry with the plus one they give to leagues. Um, so yeah really useful veron four star weak foot uh travella's pretty nice in midfield long pass incisive pass great wish he had a few more play styles but his passing's great he's very solid all round he's in the hullet gang very nice del piero is he crazy no but five star weak foot gold finesse some really good stats as well crazy passing good on the ball uh ridiculous shot really really good card again underrated card burkamp the level 20 reward this season, 4 star, 4 star, got great passing, one of the best passes in the game. I've done a video on him, I used him, I really liked him, he's got the finesse, uh, really good card and a bit different, having a Burkamp do that. Zambrotta, not like some top tier card, but if you want an icon fullback that still does a job, he's good, 5 star weak foot, uh, solid play styles, um, with shadow, really good defending and pace, good physical bit clunky on the ball at this point, but just there to help you if you need icon chemistry. Loudrup, one of the best value uh, icons in my opinion at the moment. Whipped pass, really good. 4-4 with a shadow, he's got near 99 pace. His passing is very good. He's good on the ball, like really good on the ball. His physicality is solid, really good card. Abelie, I think she's like 300k at this point. In the Hullet Gang bar, the physical, 4-4. Playstyles are pretty solid. Wish she had a better one than Acrobatic. Pretty useless in my opinion. But the rest of her card's really good. She's like a slightly worse Sourwire in my opinion. But French is a better nation for chemistry. Blanc. Maybe slightly starting to get out of date now. But French icon. 
Gold anticipate. He still plays really well. I'm hoping by the end of team of the year that I will have replaced mine. But for 400k, I still think it's pretty reasonable value. The only real weakness he has is a little bit slow, but he's not that big a liability, and he's really good at what he's good at. So uh, the SBC that came out, bit of a rip-off. I might end up doing it purely on, I really love this, this Sawa card, and I'm going to have so much fodder, I need to do something. And when I look at Sawa, already a great card. The upgrade, not huge, but press-proven gold, pretty nice, and plus one or two to most of the stats, good. This midfielder's already great. I used it for a few games earlier in the year. Really solid. Uh, brilliant at pretty much everything for the most part. Really liked her. Butragrado. Still a great card. One of the best cards I used early on in the game. Goal technical has taken a slight nerf. But quick step's really good. Goal technical still nice. Got the finesse. So he's clinical in the box. Five star weak foot. With a hawk. He's got 98 finishing. Um, 93 shot power. 90 long shots. 96 pace. He's great at the ball. Five-star weak foot. Really good card. Rio Ferdinand. At this point of the game, Rio Ferdinand is still a beast. Is he as good as his other card? Obviously not. But this card's way better value. He's like nearly 10 times cheaper than that card. I don't really understand why that Rio's that expensive, to be honest. Uh, but this Rio is still really solid. Highly recommend him. Chavi did a video on him. A lot of people have a lot of love for this card. Uh, he's still... Um, holding his price is cheaper. I got him cheaper, sorry, than he is now. He's like 700k, and I still think he's crazy value. He's probably the best passer in the game with De Bruyne, maybe. Um, he's got 99 on vision and short, 98 and long. Those are the key passing stats. He's got all the passing ones that matter for a midfield, including gold plus on long pass. He's insane on the ball. He's got a pretty good shot. Um, I absolutely love this card. Can't recommend him enough, to be honest. Uh, and then we've got Zola. Zola's an absolute beast. 4-4. Um, if he had 5-star, he'd be really, really good. He's got gold finesse. Crazy on the ball. Ridiculous passing. 99 free kick actually with dead balls. He's the best free kick taker in the game, basically. Uh, just lacks 5-star, but still great. Fernando Torres, 5-star skills on this card. 4-star weak, but quick step is very, very good. Uh, finesse. He's got rapid. With a Hawk, he's got 98 finishing, 94 shot power, and he's very good on the ball. Raul, five-star weak foot. I used the 90 Raul for quite a long time, and this is a decent upgrade on him. The five-star weak foot, a good boost to his stats, great play styles. Raul's already a beast, so a big upgrade to him's nice here. Lab, starting to get a bit more expensive now. Over a million coins, and he is a bit limited, but he's insane at what he's good at. Relentless a long pass and really, really good play styles. Great defensive play styles. 4-4. Four, four, um, very good on the ball. Elite defending. Um, he's probably the best defensive mid all around on this game, other than maybe like a Vieira or Zidane, if you think Zidane could play that. But as an out-and-out -out anchor man, he's absolutely brilliant. Cantona, the normal... I've not used this specific Cantona. I have the 89, though, that I've used quite a bit. This one's basically a plus one with gold technical, so really, really good card. Quite different card to most as well. Bobby Charlton, only 1.2 mil now. I feel like he was over 3 million for quite a long time. Uh, five star weak foot. Don't think power shot's that good. Um, people criticise me when I say that, but I just think at a high level it gets closed down too much. But some good play styles, really good stats. Zidane, 1.5 million, one of the best midfielders in the game, even with the team of the years coming out. Five star, five star, really good play styles. Isabio, not a mile worse than his 92 that everyone's done. If you've got a lot of tradable coins, you didn't do the SBC, this card's still really good, really clinical, good on the ball. Ribery, two and a half million. I know you're probably thinking, Zell, that's a crazy price. Compared to some of the other cards at the top end, he's 5'5, five five, got arguably the two best play styles for an attacker. Quick step, Traveller, incisive pass with a Hawk. He's got 94 finishing, 95 shot power, 99 long shots. He's passing to Lee. He's one of the best dribblers. He's a really good card. You could also probably go um, Hunter on him, to be honest, but really, really good. And then Mia Ham to finish it off. Do I think she's like insane value? Maybe not when we're looking at three and a half mil, but she's near an endgame card before you even get to her team of the year icon. This card's crazy. Um, ridiculously good at everything. Doesn't really have a major weakness. 
Again, if you put a hawk on her, the shooting's pretty much back there. You could put, I'd probably go 100, to be fair. Um, crazy card. The fact that cards like her out there one's just disgusting when you think about it. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Hopefully, it's been helpful. Hopefully, you've learned some potential options for your team building. Appreciate you guys tuning into the video. Keep it spicy. See you guys in the next one. Peace.